Oh, why did I start D Blade? Oh, f me. I should have started D Shield, man. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. This is very bad. I have D Blade into Aurora. I don't have second win, and I have D Blade into the D Shield. That is awful. Definitely want D Shield here. Well. Yeah, especially because he's playing uh, Electric Dude, so he's just playing the Toke style. All right, I'm going to do the sneaky thing here. I'm going to ward here, and I'm going to stand here. Maybe I can get a cheese on him early game. If I can get, like, an auto e auto combo in Phaser Shout, that'd be really big for my lane here. Okay, I mean, this doesn't really do anything. She hugged the wall properly, so... That hit me. Where's my D shield? Where's my D shield? Why don't I have D shield? Why don't I not have D shield? And where's my second win too? I thought it was versus Yone. Oh my god. Where's my D shield? Get the potter too. I mean, I really can't push into this guy. I started the wrong item, man. Bobber is patting the bot. I don't know who's patting the top here. First blood. An enemy has been slain. Trade kills bot. It's good. No oh my god. It's so close. How does that ever hit, by the way? Nah, man. I really need D-Shield. Unfortunately, we can't really get D-Shield at this point. We already have our D-Blade. We're kind of committed, so it is what it is. I can't move. It probably takes a reset here. But I can't stop this. She's hitting the Vision Cone on my Udyr. I need to look for a base timing. I mean, I'm not super low, but I do want a base timing. I think if I can rush Trifties here, that'd be really good. That will allow me to dodge a lot of her spells in lane. Do I need a couple of gold? It can be like two more waves. Aurora players, when they walk behind your wave and one-shot you from full HP without taking mini aggro. I'm trying to play very conservatively with my HP here because it's very important. I don't get chunked out. I have to TP back on a frozen wave. I don't really care about missing the CS too much as long as I get the XP, but yeah. I just want to make sure I don't get hit by a QE combo with Electric Q because that is just so much damage that I can't really afford to take with this setup. I'm going to ward this brush. She's pushing me in, so she might like to cheese this brush when she bases or something. Whenever they're pushing you in, it's always good to ward this brush in my opinion. Help spot out potential lane gank on the bounce back as well. We're actually doing pretty well in CS. She's not pressuring us that hard. The longer we can stay healthy and the longer we can save our TP, the better for this line. She should be pressuring us harder. Like she should just be walking behind our tower. Make sure not to stand behind the minions because she can yank the Q through them even though I still got hit by the Q anyways. Alright, we got our Swifties now. I'm down to use our TP to base here. He's basing in the other bush. Smart by her. But what I want to do right now is I want to focus on just killing this wave as fast as possible. And taking my own base here. This way, if she TPs back, I won't miss anything. I can match her TP. And if she doesn't TP back, I can also save my TP here. I can get this, and I can get this, and this is really strong here. Looking for a TP right now. If she TPs back, I'll match her TP. I might lose the cannon though because I based a bit later, but that's why I was really focused on killing that wave as fast as possible so I can get my base off as fast as possible here. And with Sutis, I should probably be able to make it time to get this cannon, but this is kind of the disadvantage of when you base and they base at the same time. If they can get the push first, you miss the cannon. Oh, come on, bro. Please. I got the XP. Worth. I got the XP. Beautiful. All I care about. Swifties diff. I got the XP. I based. You see that split second? matter like me me hitting that wave as fast as possible buying swifties actually made me get the cannon xp which is what i was trying to do there 
And nice. I don't give a fuck about the CS. I mean, I would like the CS, but I'll take the XP. And we were able to save our TP as well, which is really, really good for this lane. Because now we can just take a bunch of abuse from her, but we still have TP to reset, so it's not game-ending if we get mega chunked out here. Why miss cannon? Why not R the cannon? Sorry. You guys know something I don't, apparently. Alright, they're playing the Grub Spread here. I mean, this fight looks cooked, man. No, 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 bro. Bro. I mean, oh my god, the wave... Okay, thank god. I want to pull the wave at least slightly. I mean, Aurora are there. That's not bad. We didn't get an assist, and we can get a slight freeze here. But I think I want to play for the uh, push here. So we can do Herald. But, like, they're so far away. I can't really face check this. I'm pretty sure it's gone by the time they get here. But I do have flash up and I do have R up and Aurora has no R. So maybe we can fight if it's still up by the time my team gets here. I think I think, I think if they're here though, they're not gonna do it. Yeah, they're not gonna try to do it. Haha, noob. Hello noob. Reward. Let's give XP, but that's okay. Just playing passively here. We really, really can never afford, especially the setup, to play aggressive into Aurora. That almost always just leads to you taking terrible trades. Aurora's a champion you kind of have to react to. And just play defensively into. Until you, like, outscale or she makes a mistake and you can maybe look for an E-flash angle. But if she doesn't make a mistake, you can't, like, force her to be in a bad spot. Like, you can't force a good trade. She has to be the one that allows you to get the bad trade. That, allow that allows you to give the bad trade for her. If that makes sense. I don't want to get this wave in here. I don't want to be this far out versus uh, Hecarim and Aurora. I don't know when our ult's back up. But like I said, I still have TP. Oh my god, man. Nice. She pressed two buttons and I lose half my HP. I did not think she was just sitting in that bush. I don't have a bad chunk here. I have to use both my pots. But it's okay. Now I'm just kind of scared about the Hecarim gang. I'm only down 3 CS2, which is pretty fucking good for this lane. Like, how does that hit me, man? The hitbox of that thing is ridiculous. No, Swifties does not reduce yourself slow, but it doesn't really matter. For all intents and purposes, you should just go Swifties for the most part. But no, it, technically it does not remove the self slow because your W is like, it's not a slow. Like, it, you, it's just like a set movement speed reduction. Dude. Fine. Like, look at this champion, man. It's ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? I guess I just give the play. But now I'm not the TP back. I was planning to TP back anyways. Little we'll cleaver here. I'm gonna go see if I can stop her base here. Nice. Stop her base once. That's pretty good. You could still be in lane here, so I want to be a little careful. I don't want to just walk up, assume she based, and Volbear and Aurora just pop out of nowhere with their ulties on me. I do want to get the push on here, because I TP'd and she didn't. She didn't base. That's pretty big then, because now I can get Pryo on the map. Raptor's spawning in a minute and a half here. Just checking these bushes for pink wards. I got some downtime. Got some vision out for the ball right now as well. And I just want to keep seeing if I can sell our base here. If I can sell our base until the grub spawn, that'd be big. He wants the base. I think he's green for item. Nice, this is really good. I'm down to use my TP to just get perma prio here. I want to show off vision here so she frees her base and I can maybe stop it again here. Nice. Nice, she's staying. All bears bot. I just want to push her in now because I don't want to be able to use her TP to bot lane. She does have TP up. And what I'm going to do now is because I see them all bot. And this guy wants the base because he has no items. I'm gonna just gonna look to proxy her here. I'm gonna stop her base once more and then proxy. Nice, and we just keep her lane locked here for the longest time. This way she can't use her TP to influence the map. Because I don't have TP, right? Now, because I took that, now I can even look to room here. Why not proxy? I have proxy. Nice, I can maybe move here. If I can get an ult off here, that'd be big. Come on, Ball Bear, where are you at?
Nice. Big. Translate to something here. My proxy into the uh, roam. The Roar TP. She TPs here? I mean, she's got Ludens. And I should look to base here. I don't know if it can test this. Oh. I mean, I can't help, bro. I used my turn already to move. Oh my god, they just give her a triple kill, man. Why did they give her a triple kill, man? Why did they give her a triple kill? I don't understand. We can't do that fight, man. Why did they just give this guy a fucking triple? How many also I need to land in a row before my dad is back? You can land 10 in a row? I promise you he's coming back, bro. I don't have flash up. It's kind of hard for me to get on the roar here if they can test. My TP's up in 60, though. Okay, we got six scrubs. Be lit. I don't want to walk this way in case Volber is sitting here and the roar can just ult me. I'll take the safe path around. This guy's got rubbed off now, too, man. And they also have two dragons. I think it would have been fine if they just. This Udyr suicide for the dragon. Um, I can't base here. It's not a cannon wave, but I do want to look for a base. And because we have these hex gates up and I these, I can probably get back to lane pretty fast. But I, I do want to reset before these. But the thing is, I don't know if I can do it. Because these are, this is already spawned, the Herald. So I might have to just TP back. I definitely want my item here before we fight. Some chunk out here. Now to be back. Oh, I can hack you with the now. But I don't really think I can do anything. Fuck, maybe I should have TP'd earlier. Uh, I could have probably gotten a kill there if I TP'd behind them. Aurora at base as well. No, she's staying. Alright, TP. Alright, not bad. We lose top tower, but I can get bot tower, so that's fine. I don't think I can hit this. Fall is up and they have hex gates, so they get here fast. Oh, that's first turret, actually. I don't even know what that's worth. I mean, the roar is going to be so fed, which is kind of tragic. Oh, what can you do? And my team's pretty fed, so I think we're fine. Can I rotate up here for the, the Herald fight? The block needs to go bot. I mean, we should secure this Herald and then to be bot. Nice, good pick. Block needs to base and TP bot. I mean, this guy should just TP bot right now, honestly. Oh? Come on now. This guy saw me. This guy saw me and still ran into my R. They were trapping me. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh, big! 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 Leona's broken! All right. I feel like that E was kind of bogus, but you know, we take those. And now we're in a really good spot to contest this next dragon. I don't know why that Aurora would ever walk into my R there. I thought she didn't have vision on me, but uh, she definitely had vision on me because the Volver was sitting in the fucking bush. So I was really lucky. And it's really big because it's got a huge bounty too. So like I'm juiced here. Nice! That is big, bro. That is big. I'll push in midwave here and then move back to top. We don't need anybody on dragon anymore because Volbear died. So I'll just help push this midwave in. These guys will secure dragon, then I'll move back top here. I got Shoujin now, too. I really like our comp, by the way. We have so much setup for Urgon. It's actually so easy for me to play. Like, we have this guy stun, this guy stun, Leona stun. 
It's so easy for me to hit my E's and R's on these champions. I'm running, but I'm far. I might be griefing here. I can't tell. They look like they're griefing. Yeah, they definitely look like they're griefing. Uh, these guys need to just not fight without me, man. If they fight without me, it's hard. This is rough. We lose our mid tower then. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they're fighting without me, man. I also really can't die this game. He's got a bounty. Like, I want to check this area, but if they're on it, I'm just dead. See if anybody's in here with my Black Cleaver moving speed. Okay, they're not here. Mmm, rough game, rough game. They just need to fight with me. My TP also wasn't up, so it's just a hard timer to fight for them. I'm like half the team's gold here. All in is four support mains? That's crazy. All right, do I go tank this game or blood mail? I mean, I have a pretty good front line with Leona and Udyr. I think I can afford to go blood mail. I'm definitely rich enough. I want to take over bot side because I have TP, but at the same time, my blog is already bought, and I feel like if I'm not at the fight, they're just going to get ran. So I kind of want to be there first, which means I can't afford to TP in. I'm just going to walk here. We do have, like, like I said, we have really good setup for me. Like, if I can just play off their CC, I can't get one shot, though, for sure. Like, they fucking hurt. I mean, okay, I go bot then. Why the bunks going top? Opposite side of Baron here when our TP is up. We can definitely beat the Yoni 1v1. I mean, they're trapping us here. We're trapping him, but they're also trapping us. They're for sure trapping. I don't know what these guys expected, man. Like, that's like the most obvious trap of my life. I don't know what these guys are doing, man. Bro, like that was such an obvious bait, man. And they're just standing there. Now we all lose the game for it. I lose my bounty and they all die and they get Baron here and the game is over. Like I knew they were baiting too. That's the fucked up part. But I trusted them. I thought maybe they swept the bush or something. I mean, they have no R's. I mean, not bad, actually. Fuck, Dash got away. I mean, not bad, but definitely not great either. It's a three for two, but they got Baron. That's rough. Maybe we can break mid tower, though, and get Dragon. I mean, we have to get Dragon. I don't know, man. I thought this Corky champion is supposed to be OP this patch. It's just 20 minute red buff. That's pretty big for us. I don't know if we can just walk in, though, man. It seems like so hard to just walk in. I do have flash up, though. Oh, I mean, I do so much here, man. Tell me we win this, please. Okay. Come on. Please. Let's go. Also, I thought the Aurora R was going to stop my E-Flash, but it kind of went through. So that's kind of big. I thought the Aurora R was going to stop my E-Flash on the Ash because she was outside of it. But I, I don't know if it should have gone through or it was a bug, but okay, I'll take it regardless. We take those. Okay, man, we're scaling. We got the second dragon. The dragon's kind of useless on me, but it's still good. Don't have Flash now, but I'm really juiced here. Um, I want to go Randuin's here. I think Randuin's at the Jack Show looks really good this game. Just because how you grabbed her, kind of like Ian Poppy Melee. Doesn't kind of dash with the Axe Weird. I guess so, actually. Yeah, that does make sense. Moving up for me. I don't know if you're like sitting here or something. I don't want to risk it. I still get one shot at this point. I'm not that tanky. I'm just all ID. 
I need my team to be the primary engage for me, and I follow up in these fights. If I'm primary engage and they all just dump their spells on me, I get one shot for sure. I need like full items to be tanky, in my opinion, or at least one tank item here. But I'm just full AD right now, so I can't think of just going uh, Jack Show here because I feel like I need the MR as well versus the Aurora Champion. She does so much damage. My Corky's three items. That's gotta be big. Keep me up now as well. watching. I don't know if they're like trapping here or they're playing bot. They're playing bot. I'm just gonna push. I have TP then. I'm watching. I'm watching. Nothing happening. I get to just free push top here. Catch these guys? Why do I feel like we can't catch these guys? Yo, these guys feel like they're impossible to catch. I think we just take the dub and I bank them back off here. That's a two for zero. We take those. TP gap. I get top pushed in too. I don't have TP for Bear now though, so I have to stay with my team here. I mean, I kind of just want to go like, like I want to go Randuin's here. But I think this is just stronger for this upcoming team fight, just so I have armor and MR here. Oh, I didn't mean to hit it that way. Okay, let's take control of Vision Pit, uh, Bit Baron Pit here. Flash up in 40. Nice, that's a big pick. We can probably hit Baron now. I'm gonna save my Sweeper here. We have a pink. I don't have Flash up. I one shot this ball bear though. Oh my god. Bro, why did we flip it? Why was it that low to have flipped? Oh my god. Oh my god, man. I mean, it's fine. But if we got that, the game would be over. Now it's kind of hard. But we get third dragon here. But yeah, losing that is never good, man. I thought it was high enough HP. We should have not hit it as much. I mean, I still think we win. It should be fine. We definitely scale harder than their team. And my champion is so good here. Like, I demolish all their frontline. Rel, Leona, Volibear. Or Rel, yeah, Yone, Volibear. With uh, my Udyr and Leona CC setup. It's hard as fuck for them to play. I don't have my item. Oh, this is bad. I thought I had my item here. Fuck, I really want my item here, man. Fuck. This is so big, but I can't really base right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is bad. This looks so bad, man. My team just suicided, bro. Yo, do they end here? Oh my god. How many they don't end? How many they don't end? Why does it look like the end? Yo! Yo. <sighs> These guys are stressing me out, man. Like, they're stressing me out, man.
Jesus fucking Christ, man. Why is it so stressful? The Bobber body blocked my R pretty well there. I mean, we still have a tower up, so this is actually not that bad. It doesn't really mean anything unless you take both towers and they have backdoor threat, but with one tower up, I think it's fine. And it's not even that low. You can probably take an inhibit of her own here because Yone's still dead, not just spawned. I don't have flash now. Why is my entire team just one shot by this before I can't in? I mean, this Aurora champion is just literally one-shotting my entire backline for fun. Oh my god. This champion is so disgusting, by the way. What the fuck? At least no objectives were up, so it's fine. I mean, do I just go more MR then? Like, what the fuck? I feel like these guys don't do damage. It's just the Aurora. I just go Fawn here or something? There's no way I lose this, man. I'm 15 and 3, bro. Champion is actually so OP. There's Soul. Soul and Baron spawning. Same time here. I mean, Baron's slightly faster. No, no, this is hard. I don't have Flash up either. Yo, they're just gonna rush the Baron. I should just swap the Blue Trinket. I need vision on the Aurora flanks, man. I'm like, they're just gonna hop out here. And just nuke my Corky. While she's invisible. I'm down to trade Baron for Soul here, yeah. But I'm kinda fucking down. They should not be down to trade this. They're gonna contest our Soul. Just rush the soul. Just hit this. Just hit this. Just hit this. We're flipping it. Oh my god, this is so stressful, man. Oh my god, we win. They all went for me. Let's go! Good shit, team. They all went for me, man. Let's go! Let's fucking go, bro. We fucking won. We fucking won. Dang our game, man. I high key thought we were gonna this. Aurora champion is so ridiculously OP. Like, it's just so broken. Oh, thank fucking god we won.